Hello and welcome, my name is Kyle Feather, and welcome back to the Call of Duty Vanguard video. Today, we are back with another episode of Blueprint Review. This is episode 216, and today we're taking a look here at the brand new Costello's, yep, Costello's Blueprint for the Well Gun, which is Blueprint number two out of the Umbrella Academy Cha Cha Bundle, um, which is very, very cool. Now, this Blueprint is pretty interesting looking. Hopefully, we can jump into the game and do well with it. Of course, this has all the same things as the previous blueprint, same um, tracer pack or same tracer rounds, same um, dismemberment effects. So this should be pretty fun. Um, so anyways, I'll see you guys all in the gameplay. All right, guys, welcome into the game. We are playing some domination here on Hotel Royal. Hopefully we can do well. Joined right at the beginning of the game, which is awesome. So should be able to have a fresh experience here. And shot in the back, nice. Okay. There's one. There almost was not another. Jeez, that was almost a massive fail. That would have been so, so bad. Damn it, man. Come on. It is very, very easy to go on a streak here, so... We just need to do that. Okay. They, there's one. I saw you, buddy. Where? There you are. There's two. And there is three. Beautiful. Now, this well gun is kind of a beast. As most of you probably know already. I mean... It was the second best SMG in the game. Until... Wow, that is some horrible aim. Jeez, you can tell I haven't played Call of Duty in a few days. Oh god. No. Because I was enjoying the weekend. I went back home for a few days and basically didn't leave the lake. <laughs> so, so yeah, I haven't played Call of Duty in a while, but it's alright. You can get right back into it very, very easily. There we go. This thing just shreds. Thank you, guys. These guys are not using ghosts, so... Okay, back up. Really? Where did this guy come from? What? How did he get past? How did he get past my entire team? Hmm, I have no idea. Sweet. The lead. Keep it up. Hmm. See ya. Get into cover. Oh my gosh, this guy I already is <laughs> I'm already not a fan of this guy because somehow he slipped on my teammates and then he did a finishing move on me, which is very, very, very annoying. Yep. Oh, nice try. Oh, man. This is crazy. Oh, God. See ya. Oh, my gosh. That was so close. Thank God we got that guy. Okay, I really don't want to jump up there. That's not really a place that you want to be. Oh my gosh. I want to get out of here. 
Just want to get out of here. Thank you. Now, hopefully, we won't. Hopefully, we won't die now that we left. It's beautiful. Come on. Show yourself. Yes, man. Come on. Oh my gosh. These gunfights are getting very, very close. But hey, we're winning them, and that is all that matters. That is literally all that matters. I think I'm going to actually wrap all the way around. Normally, I drop down there. But I think this is a good opportunity for a flank. There's one. There is two. And there is local informants. Let's go, man. Wow. I was not even paying attention to what streak we were on. I was just doing my best to not die. See you later. That is a horrible spawn. Why? Why did that guy spawn there? Oh my gosh. Jeez, okay, let me equip armor so that we have kind of a buffer here. Teammates, there's a VSAT in the air. What are you guys doing? Okay, we're five off a of nuke. Let's be careful. And we've got plenty of time for it, too. Nice clutch UAV teammate. Losing objective A. One special. They gotta reload. Oh my gosh, okay. Chill, chill, chill. Securing no! Too off. Bummer. That sucks. Oh, well, it happens. Let's just keep this going. This was a good gameplay, so let's just keep it going. Just because we failed a nuke does not mean that the gameplay is not good. Because if you fail a nuke, that means you must you went on a crazy, crazy, crazy streak. So we will take that. What? Oh my gosh. What are these guys doing? They're playing a little, I don't know, crazy. Crap. I mean, if only... I think I've said this a few times I've failed nukes in this game. If only they just let you, you know, if they just had like a point streak system or a kill streak system, we would have gotten we would have gotten the nuke, no, 100%. Because we got basically a second VSAT. We would have at least gotten a, a VSAT on score. What is that guy doing, man? He's just sitting in a corner. Come on, teammates. You guys can get that guy. I didn't realize where he was until it was too late. Oh god. Run. Is the guy chasing? Wow, man, fail. Come on, we have to get B. Teammates, we have to, have to, have to get B. Seriously? What? Alright. Oh my gosh, man. Okay, now we're going on a death streak. No, I'm not gonna let that happen. Nope, nope, nope. Lead is lost. Fight back. Baker locked down. Okay, I will let my I will let my teammates capture A. And I will work on catch defending B.
damn it, I ran out of ammo. Come on, teammates, we have to defend B. Have to defend it. Are you kidding me? What? I know we're kind of going on a big death streak here, but I don't want to lose. We I always... I always get good gameplay and lose. Like good KD gameplay. Good KD gameplay, bad or losing the game the score wow damn it they got it again you cannot win god now i'm just playing reckless i apologize guys we're gonna lose the game because my teammates my teammates let me down So I'm going to try and pad my KD. I hope we died less than 20 times, but I don't think we did anymore. We've died a lot at the end of this game here. A lot. But we'll see, guys. 60 kills, 13 defends, 5 captures. Honestly, not too bad of a gameplay there. I just wish that we would have won, but we'll have to see what our KD was. I don't know if we died less than 20 times, even though we went on that really, really nice streak. We'll have to see. I hope we died less than 20 times. That'd be nice, but... I don't know. We just got so many deaths at the end of the gameplay that I don't remember how many deaths we got before our streak, so... We'll have to see, but that was a lot of fun nonetheless. I mean, this blueprint is, is pretty solid, all things considered, so... Yeah, we'll have to see what our verdict is, and yes, man, perfect. All right, well, 60 and 17, not a bad gameplay there. Managed to get above a 3 KD. I know we had died a lot at the end of the game, but that kind of happens, when, especially because I was trying to win the game before. It was like, I'm going to try and get the V2, and at the end of the game, it was like, let me try and get the nuke. So um, no point in doing a little cut here. We'll just go ahead and just head straight into the um, inspect. So um, here is a look at the... Costello's blueprint here for the well gun. So starting off here with the first attachment, we have ourselves the recoil booster. Um, for the barrel, we have the 120 millimeter Gawain short. Um, for the optic, we have the slate reflector. For the stock, we have the Gawain S custom. For the under barrel, we have the M1930 strife angled. For the magazine, we have the 9 millimeter 64 round mag. For the hollow, for the ammo type, sorry, we have hollow point. For the rear grip, we have the pine tar grip. For the proficiency, we have gung ho. And finally, for the kit, we have quick. So um, now, that, now that that is out of the way, we'll go ahead and jump to the aesthetic practicality and war. So starting off here, first off with the aesthetic, this blueprint actually is not really that great looking. I mean, I'm apparently, I mean, it seems like Costillo's is sort of like a restaurant, diner, thing, bar, whatever it is from the show or from the Umbrella Academy, obviously. Um, but the, as far as the blueprint aesthetically goes, it doesn't really look that great. I mean, it's kind of plain to be honest i mean you can obviously see, see some of the diner themed aesthetics like the chair on the grip as well as the um sort of pink um waiter lady on the mag um, but again the blueprint is very very plain it's not anything super super crazy or super cool um, in fact i think the other blueprint is actually a lot better looking than this blueprint um so as far as the aesthetic goes this class is going to just get a, a five out of ten which is average i mean it's not a horrible looking blueprint but it's not anything super super amazing either so start next here with the practicality is this a good class i actually have a lot of good things to say about this class it was, it's very very fun pretty good overall um i don't really have any complaints to make either the only thing that i would maybe change on this thing is either putting um subsonic rounds or making this a silencer only because i like to be very very stealthy when i use smg classes just is just what i like to do it's just kind of a personal preference thing it's just when you use a class like this where you are rushing and getting very very close like with an smg you need to have the ability to be stealthy because enemies are going to see where you are obviously that was that was only my third game of the day but 
you know, if the enemies were maybe a little bit better, they might have been very easily able to hear me or see me on the minimap. So I always like having a silencer when it comes to an SMG. Um, but the class is still really, really good. The thing is, the class is very, very fun. I would actually probably keep the front, the efficiency the same, or I would probably actually change it just because that's my personal preference. So I'd probably change it to Frenzy, and then I would probably put on Fully Loaded, just because that's a personal preference thing. And then maybe I would probably equip a attachment that gives you some better accuracy. But other than that, I think it's a pretty solid class. So I'm going to go ahead and give the class an 8 out of 10. Um, last but not least, is this blueprint worth using? I mean, it's pretty cool. It does have a very, very unique effect, and if that it's something that you're into, then I definitely recommend using it. Um, but me personally, I do have the Mastercraft blueprint of the well gun. <clears throat> so I don't really see myself using this blueprint, you know, as my main blueprint, just because, again, it I have other blueprints that are better and I can make a class of this with that specific blueprint that wouldn't hurt the aesthetic too much. Um, but it is fun to use. I do like the trace arounds as well as the dismemberment effect. So it is fun. And I think that I, you'll have fun with it if you decide to use it. So I'll go ahead and give the worth of this blueprint. Honestly, I'll give it a 7 out of 10. I think that that is fair. I mean, obviously, if I said guarantee use usage, that would be a 10. But <clears throat> I wouldn't get, I wouldn't, you know, be like, you definitely should use this blueprint. You'll, you'll love it. So um, factoring everything in, though, this blueprint is going to be getting a 6.6 .6 out of 10, which is a pretty solid score. I actually really like the blueprint. And I think that that's a good score. Obviously, it's above average, not below average. I and, mean, you know, if the aesthetic is something that changes your mind completely about a blueprint, here's what it looks like with um, gold, diamond, and of course atomic. But yeah, again, the the class itself and the worth of it definitely carry this blueprint. So definitely give it a go if you haven't, because it's not going to be a bad one. Just doesn't look as cool as I would have hoped. So anyway, guys, now that that is all out of the way, we'll go ahead and jump into whether or not I think that this bundle is worth buying. So again, I'll throw the bundle up on screen right now so you guys can see everything from the skin to the blueprints to the weapon charm, etc, etc, etc. And there's a lot of things to this bundle. So this bundle, of course, comes with two mastery blueprints or high level, I should, should say, blueprints. Um, they're both above average. I definitely gave them both above, <clears throat> above a 5 out of 10. So they're pretty cool overall. I really like the skin. I think the skin is pretty hilarious. And I can definitely see myself using the skin quite often just because it's kind of funny. It reminds me sort of like Payday in a way. Um, I definitely like the skin and everything of that nature. The calling card, the sticker, the and stuff like that. That's just kind of okay. It's just kind of there. I mean, when it comes to blueprints, I don't think anybody, or bundles, I should say, I don't think anybody is like, yes, I want to buy this bundle because it ha of that calling card. No, usually people are worried about the calling or the blueprints and the skin that comes with. And both of those things, or all three of those things, I should say, are really cool. And everything else I like it within this um, bundle. So now I like it, but is it worth buying? Well, that comes up to you and whether or not you like the show. I personally have never seen the Umbrella Academy show, so I wouldn't really be able to personally be able to justify buying it if I wasn't making this series. But that being said, though, I am a collector of bundles here within Call of Duty Vanguard. So in that respect, I actually like the bundle a lot and I would probably have bought it anyway. Again, I'm just a really, really big fan of movie show tie-ins into Call of Duty. I think that is very, very awesome. Does it fit with the World War II setting? No, not really, but it's still cool and definitely is awesome. I just wish that maybe there was a way to get these bundles for free, but again, I see why they don't do that. But again, in my opinion, as the way that I play Call of Duty, I think that this bundle is worth it. I think that it's worth buying. I think both everything is good within it. It's a solid bundle and it's worth that 2,400 cow points. Everything is also uh, legendary, just in case if you guys are worried about rarity. So that's another awesome bonus just on top of it. Um, so yeah, definitely recommend uh, giving this bundle a purchase if you not only like Umbrella Academy or you want to be a collector within Call of Duty Vanguard. But anyway, guys, that's going to do it for this next video. If you guys did enjoy this video, like ring is always appreciated. Come check out any of my other previous of the previous episodes of Blueprint Review. They're all the link down below from the playlist in the description, as well as the previous episode at the end of the video for you guys to check out as well. And I'll see you guys all on the Call of Duty Vanguard video very, very soon.